Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly's. And thank you for the super thanks. So today I'd like to find out, is Prince Harry still in the UK? Is Prince Harry still in the UK? Is Prince Harry still in the UK? Is he still in the UK? Yes, he has. Okay. Will he be staying until after the coronation? Will he be staying until after the coronation? Yes. Okay, people are wondering, people are wondering, will they, will he stay after the coronation? Will Harry stay until after the coronation? Will Harry stay after the coronation? Will Harry stay after the coronation? Maybe. Wow. Okay. I'm going to ask this next question. Is Harry divorced from reality right now? Is Harry divorced from reality right now and what's going on? Is he divorced from reality? No, he's not. No. Okay. Is he hoping to stay there? Is he hoping to stay there and not return to California? Is he hoping to stay there? Is he hoping to stay in the UK? My, my, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He wants to stay put. Okay, and we know that the, what that means. <laughs> so let's get some cards. I hope you guys are doing well. I actually went out, did a little something, something for myself. I went to a group of women and had coffee time with about 15 women in town. So that was fun. Got it. Getting out and doing those things is something I should do. A little bit too much coffee. So that's why I'm late today, and I apologize. Here we go. Prince Harry. Prince Harry wanting to stay. Want, wanting to stay put. Wanting to stay put. Well, that popped. Wanting to stay put. Five of Swords. Yeah, he's got some fighting to do here. Uh, this is here... Basically, he knows he's falling out with others and he wants to take the opportunity. It is the opportunist card, but it's also knowing that there's going to be a lot of conflicts. It feels like a no-win situation. He knows he's the nemesis. He's the nemesis who doesn't want to go away. Uh, so he wants to, I think he wants to hammer things out. I'm going to take this out because it's it wants out. And he knows with the Page of Cups in reverse, they're not, it's a negative message. They don't want to hear what he has to say. It's just very negative, period. Uh, negative emotions, just not idolistic anymore. I think he just wants to hammer away at some things. Um, that five uh, with the wand, he's definitely having conflicts with his human willpower, with his confidence, his drive, uh, his intuition, uh, his energy. He, he also wants some attention. He wants to get their attention some way or somehow. If it means get, having a fight, uh, then so be it because that's how he can get their attention because they've been ignoring him. They've been ignoring him. He wants attention, his attention, his attention. You're going to hear me out. You're not, you know, I, what, I'm trying to call you. You're not responding to me. So this is a way to get them to respond. I'm going to take this one too here. Yeah, we have Page of Swords. Page of Swords. He wants to point out uh, errors and he wants to basically create this stubborn energy. He's very stubborn. He wants to communicate. It's the communication card. So he wants to communicate. And once again, what do we have here? We have two, two pages. So this is like a child wanting to get their attention through creating a fight, an argument. And he may have to swallow his pride with that Five of Swords. Uh, it may be a no-win situation. Uh, walking away from defeat is common with the Five of Swords and having to swallow your pride. And also, it's him saying, nobody has my back right now. Nobody has my back. I know I did, what I did was wrong. And uh, I'm just going to point out all the errors here. Uh, probably a lot of it's not going to be his, as we know. Uh, let's get the next position here, which is the focal point. Yeah, he does not like the fact that he is a Six of Pentacles in reverse. Six in reverse is there's no harmony and balance in his life. Uh, the reunion in reverse card. So he's not feeling, he's feeling uh, quite the estrangement. This is the estrangement position. 
and uh, insubordination. Uh, he's getting some self-actualization from this situation of being away. And I think he's so focused on this fact that he has been in insubordination and the fact that he's been self-centered and uh, with the estrangement. So I think he's going to communicate some things that uh, could could lead to him possibly having some kind of makeup here. Uh, he knows that it's all one sided uh, with this charity card because it is the charity card, the sharing card. Uh, it, there is some uh, it could be extortion, too. Uh, so he knows he's extorted them. He knows that he's broke. He knows he's going into debt. He knows that he's dependent. And he knows he needs the strings attached. He wants those strings attached. There's strings attached right there. In this position, he has nothing to give. He has absolutely nothing to give. Um, only they can give to him. He needs help. He needs help. And it is somewhat conditional love in that position. So, you know, I can be here if this occurs here. So he is going to extort uh, emotionally, uh, financially, uh, in the home because uh, Pentacles is work, money, and education. So he doesn't like the fact that he's probably not able to afford his lifestyle, uh, probably has tax problems. Uh, things are coming to fruition on a lot of negative fronts. Let's get under the deck here. We have the moon. Yes, the moon. So mental illness. He's realizing his life is nothing but a fantasy and illusion with the narcissist. Yes, because Megan, they have been divorced from reality, completely divorced from reality. That is a divorce from reality card. A lot of anxiety and depression. He needs help. He needs one-sided help. I have nothing to give. Uh, mental confusion. He's been trying to conceal his, his trauma. He's been trying to conceal all the deceptions and the lunacy that's been going on. His subconscious is bothered. He is getting kind of irritated with it. And he knows what he's doing is wrong. And there goes Penelope. Yep, it's probably the dog next door. Just ignore it. And we have another page. Wow, page, page, pages. Wow, are we going to get all the pages here? So far, I have three. I have three pages. I only need one more page to make it a full child here. So we have the page of Pentacles. Uh, the past position that didn't serve him was actually being a working prince. Uh, working and learning and growing into a solid man. Uh, he never did quite get up to even the knight energy or the king energy. He stayed at a pinnacle. Uh, planning his future uh, is no longer serving the way he decided to plan it. That's why he left. Uh, he knows he has to build a foundation of solid self. Uh, it would be uh, basically seeing efforts. He needs to put in some effort. But in the past, he didn't want to put in effort. The past, he didn't want to study. The past, he didn't want to build things. He wasn't dedicated, so he might be rethinking this quite possibly. He wasn't willing to put in the effort uh, going into the future. What I have here is uh, the death card. He's going to let go. I feel he's going to let go of some things. He has to let go. He's got to let go of Megan. He's got to let go of his broke lifestyle that he's facing. He's got to let go of his marriage. Uh, either they're going to let go of him or he has to let go of her. There is a letting go of something. And it is a goodbye of someone so that he can transform and have a new beginning. Uh, usually it means a new beginning. If he doesn't take this new beginning, like I've said, I think he has a capacity to completely fall apart. Uh, because he's got very psychopathic energy right now. He has been living very psychopathic energy uh, with his ruthlessness. Um, because when BPD go, go dark, they go ruthless, uh, very psychopathic type energy. Uh, when they go dark, they go very, very dark when, and with his subtype, he goes incredibly dark and very rageful. So if he doesn't, this rage is going to lead to death because rage and anger is very much associated with the S word. I have said that before. It's very much linked to it. So he needs to have his way. He's one of those guys, got to have his way. So he, I think he's going to say that there's so many conflicts with the fact he's not loved anymore. He's not idolistic. People don't like the way he's changed. He's going to point out all the flaws of probably other people, not himself, very stubborn. 
He's going to say, I should have learned some things. I didn't. I was unwilling. I really need some help. I'm living in a fantasy land of mental illness and anxiety and depression. I've got to let some things go. So he is, um, he's not uh, living in, um, in, in a clouded mindset right now. His, the cloud's clearing. It is clearing. And then we have here, whoa, the Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse is his feelings is he knows he can't be a working royal. This here is following the traditions, following the guidance. He was unwilling to do so, as we know. The hierarchy, he's now very, very low on the hierarchy. Uh, the commitment card in reverse, he cannot commit to the hierarchy. He could not commit to being a working royal. He didn't want to. He was too lazy. He left. So he might be pointing out some things about himself. This could be him pointing out his own inner conflicts of how he basically was just taking advantage of the fact he was a working royal uh, and he, he lacked commitment. He lacked learning. He just was not a studious individual. This is what led him down with mental illness. So it's looking like even though this higher fonts in reverse, I think maybe he's he does want it flipped. He wants that flipped, as I've been saying. He wants it flipped, but he's not going to ever get it flipped. I think he knows the reality is he has to let go of the fact that he ever will be. That's something he has to accept. And to even think that he can would be mental illness and illusion and fantasy. Uh, a total delusion here. Uh, not built on reality. And basically, you know, that's total lunacy here. And he's trying to, he's been trying to conceal his trauma, probably from Markle, and hiding the issues about how much he misses it. I think he does miss it greatly. He can't admit it to her, though. And then we have here the outside influences. Everyone sees him as miserable. So many people say he's not that happy, cheeky, chappy. He's not, he's not having a good time. Harry used to always have a good time. I just watched HG Tutor and people were talking about how Harry, they miss Harry being kind of rebellious and, and always the prince who had paparazzi. Literally, they were taking pictures of him. He was that prince having a good time and just cutting it up and, you know, getting violent even. But nonetheless, people didn't know that part of him. But he was always the guy who looked like he was having fun and glowing up to the point where he was the second most popular royal. Now he's like... He's beneath uh, his his uncle, so people don't see him. People see him in the dark. People don't see him healing. Uh, he knows he's not glowing up. He's glowed down. He used to be glowed up. He's glowed down, glowed down, uh, and now he's got to let go of the fantasy that he can ever glow back up. It will never be what it, it was because he will never be that working royal. So he's realizing the. The issue he put himself into. He's realizing the consequences. So very consequential here. Uh, let's get to the next position. The hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. He wants to heal what he did. That triangulation and causing tremendous emotional pain with betrayal. He wants to end it. He wants to reconcile. Get some acceptance from his family. And move on. He doesn't want the chronic illness. He is sick. He doesn't want to be the odd man out. Here is odd man out through triangulation, scourge energy, betrayal, working against you. He did that because of his own inner conflicts here. His own, uh, you know, basically being an opportunist, you know, c c committing crimes. He did commit some crimes. He was the nemesis of the family. He was that, that, uh, always that problem child that people thought he was perfect. He never was. He was always a little nemesis in the family. He was always having falling outs with everyone. He did commit some crimes. He needs protection. He needs protection. He needs healing. He needs to basically reconcile so that I think those crimes don't come out. He does not want to risk losing that. That's the big issue for him. Probably more so than divorcing her is to protect his own skin at this point. I think he realized he has to protect himself. And the only way he's going to get protection is to reconcile and to uh, basically accept defeat at some point in time. He's going to accept some defeat that he put out nothing but negativity. And that he, really he's just got this battle in his mind. He's got a repeated psychological pattern of failure with this Five of Swords. And that's why he created so much triangulation and pain and vengeance uh, through chronic illness here. So he needs healing. 
and we got here because he doesn't have enough. I don't have enough. This is wishing. I don't have enough. The Four of Cups. Uh, apathy. He's, you know, he had a lack of interest. He's feeling very numb inside. Life does not feel full. He's feeling like he's just walking around as a shell of himself. Very fractured psyche. Uh, the honeymoon phase is over with the marriage. Uh, this here is could be weeks, months, and timing, but I think it's pretty current. Uh, he's had a lot of missed opportunities because of pulling away. He's had missed opportunities because he's so numb inside. Uh, this is why he did what he did, because he is fractured. He is fractured. He's got problems in his psyche here. He always has. It's repeated, repeated conflicts, repeated nemesis card, the repeated defeat, the re repeated resentment. This is a card of total resentment. His resentment and being the spare, he's the spare here, is why he did what he did. But he realizes, I still don't have enough. He went off with Markle. He let go, but... It did not pay out. Now, I don't have enough. I just don't have enough. I still don't have enough. And it's because, like I've said, it's that eight of cups walking away from empowerment or getting into your fantasy head. I get a lot of those together. Eight of cups with the moon card, I get them so often together. They really often go together. It's because it is built a lot in fantasy and hiding issues. And so they want to walk away thinking the grass is greener somewhere else. That's kind of hairy here. And now he wants to come back in with Knight of Cups. He wants he wants emotional connection. Uh, he wants to start something new. He wants to get back up. He doesn't want to hit a wall. Uh, Knight of Cups upright. It's the arrival of love. He wants to feel attached. Even though he's going to still be fickle in his moods, he wants to put out an apology. So I think he may be the one who does the apology. Uh, for the invitation, the the loving negotiation. He wants a loving negotiation. He wants an emotional proposal coming back to him. He wants that invitation. Okay, you can come back. You know, he wants that sensitivity back. Uh, something he lost within himself. He knows he's empty inside and he wants it back. And the only way he can truly get it back is if he went to a therapist, actually a true therapist, someone that can actually help him and be committed and hold up your values. Here, he has not been able to actually grasp onto it because he didn't take the guidance. He wouldn't listen. He kept listening to Megan. So here, he realizes he didn't listen to guidance. He wants to get back balance. He wants cause and effect. He wants to have his life more um, equal. He wants, he wants basically equilibrium it's also the court case he also knows he's got court cases here so that could also be about the fact he's going to talk about the court cases uh that he wants things fair and balanced uh cause and effect and let's see what else do i have here and life is a nightmare he's created nothing but a nightmare through all his court cases complete total nightmare and loss of sleep insomnia weeping um, life isn't fair. It just feels like an, you know, uh, what have I done to myself card? And so not doing well, it's a sword. So he's having a lot of very, very negative thoughts and it just feels like, uh, he needs to end it, uh, because a nines is about trying to reach a breaking point and end the old ways. So he, wa he's wanting to end the life of a nightmare. Um, his conscience is bothered. It's, it's fear, it's rumination, it's things he's done over the past, which was when he was younger, unwilling to be worked with, always falling apart. There is a cycle of him falling apart constantly. And he's just, he knows he, he has a bothered conscience in general because he's never been idolistic. He's always been a problem. You know, he's always been a problem. He's always glowed down. He's always been in the dark. He's always pointed out things that were not fair and being stubborn, always mental illness, always one-sided giving, needing help, uh, always not very good at being a student. So I think he's really waking up here. Uh, we have here the wheel. He wants better karma, better luck. He wants luck. I need luck on my side in order to balance me and control myself from within so that I can get back the integrity and character and self-belief and self-control. The only way he can do that is if he gets lucky. He would be very lucky if they allow him to stay. 
uh, and actually give them help. I've said, you know, in my, in my live that they will, they will take him and they will get him what he needs so he can have better luck, better karma, so that he could get good health back, get some of his health back, his wealth back. Uh, he needs that. It's the only way he can operate. He doesn't know anything else. It's also a yes card. He needs a yes. Please don't tell me no. Please tell me yes so that I can, you know, get over this life illness injury because this is a life illness and injury and trying to triumph over this major life illness and injury. He's going through an injury too, just like Megan is. Uh, and it is mental illness because I got, I've got mental illness cards on the table here, these two here, and I got that one there too. So I've got three mental illness cards in essence on the table as well as probably this one too. Uh, so a lot of mental illness on the table here and glowing down depression. Another one, a lot of, lot of health issues here. And yes, he does not want to be in estrangement anymore. Five of pentacles. He doesn't want to be the outcast with no job, no home, no support. He wants recovery. He wants a recovery. He wants a recovery of his spirit, his money, and his home. He wants the end of the difficult times that he's been living. And then he wants the star card. He wants healing. I want healing. I want to feel inspired. I need a renewal. Please renew me. I need hope. Another healing card. Uh, so, and get in, in alignment uh, so, yeah, I think he may be really having a heart-to-heart -heart here, uh, but we have here the lovers in reverse and the cheating card, so that he has not been loyal to Megan as well. And it goes back to the legal card here, getting back in history here, that cause and effect here, he's got some legal issues that he wants protection from with the IPP, because he did something very dark and devious with the lover he was not truly interested in and the cheater card. Uh, that's that case where the mother is not happy with him. Um, and there's violence here. There's violence, there's rage, there's very negative, low vibe energy with this wand down. Very temperamental, very reckless and dangerous. He did something very reckless and dangerous with another person. The lovers in reverse. Someone he truly was never interested in anyways. Uh, total disinterest. Uh, it was testing something. Not quite testing, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, and uh, with the phallic symbol, because the king of wands in reverse is the cheater. So he cheated and he did something very devious, very, very reckless with the one in reverse and just very dangerous. He did a very dangerous situation. Put himself and, and a woman in danger. So I see this situation without getting too much words here. We know what I'm saying uh, with that young woman who was in a coma and the mother's unhappy. This is what I'm feeling, uh, that he is afraid of being held accountable and he wants to put that out. He wants protection so he doesn't have to um, live with it, so he doesn't have to be accountable for it. The only way out is to get back in. And Queen of Cups upright, very emotional card, uh, and basically obsessed. He's obsessed. I'm going to read this as him. He's obsessed with his emotions right now, feminine energy, and he needs nurturing. Um, he's feeling very hurt right now. I would say he hurt a female too, and she's emotional, and she's trying to heal, and um, he's probably also thinking also of his mother, uh, that she would not be happy with him, uh, that, you know, what am I doing here? I think he's kind of coming to terms and he's manifesting a change, a big shakeup, a big, big shakeup with the tower. He needs, and it's going to also being with these two cards going to affect Megan. She's going to play, play victim more than likely, but really he did create a shakeup within himself with that lover and that cheating and that recklessness and that vindictive, dangerous energy of his, he made that happen. Uh, and that could actually affect, uh, could affect Megan here too, uh, because she, she's aware of it. She's aware and it made her, you know, disappointed. And then rising up, the Queen of Wands upright. He knows that Megan's going to rise up. She will do things that other people will not do because she likes this, the media, the spotlight, the attention. 
and she's going to do a smear campaign on him uh, when it happens. When it all happens, the smear campaign's coming. A lot of negative PR. Also with that situation with the woman. Uh, he doesn't want that to come out because that would also be a negative campaign. So he's got he's got two two women uh, I feel on the table here that he's concerned about Megan and that that situation, the most recent situation that people say happened around Jubilee and the girls in a coma, allegedly entertainment purposes. So there's two women I think he's concerned about uh, Megan, the divorce and this case. And I need to get back in. I've got to get my protection. Uh, I'm sick. I'm a sick man. And there's so much mental illness on the table. He's just going to claim I am mentally ill. So this is Harry claiming mental illness of his own. He doesn't need Megan claiming he's mentally ill. He knows he's mentally ill. He's, he's, he is hitting that bottom. He's getting this awareness. He's mentally ill. He knows that, um, he's going to keep secrets with the high priestess. So he's going to keep the secrets of what he's done. I have to keep the secrets. I don't want people knowing. And, um, Basically, he's going to realize that could drain him and he's not reliable. He knows he's not a reliable person uh, with the pinnacle in reverse is very low vibe, a very low vibe man. He knows his dad's not going to buy his way out. Uh, nobody did. He had to buy himself out. Uh, so there was a loss of money and uh, Mark will probably help implement that. Uh, being the high priestess, I think she helped implement that and is keeping the secrets. He's probably concerned she's going to release the secret uh, with that eight of wands in reverse. Once the love is gone, well, there is no love, but once things go to a deeper, more tower crashing moment, then um, he knows that smear campaign, she can release this thing that he is such a low vibe. She has this hanging over his head. I know what you did here. And I can throw you down with uh, with the Eight of Wands in reverse and release all this smear campaign on you, which would be a problem. So he needs his family also to uh, protect him. He needs that protection from the secret. And he made the choice and he has to decide here. It's an emotional decision. And uh, it also is sort of a fantasy card. My head's up in the clouds. And it's a wish and a dream. It's a wish and a dream to have choices and options in life again. He doesn't have options and choices being married to her. There is no options and choices on the table. Uh, he realizes he's got to choose a cup. Am I going to choose Megan holding us over my head? Or am I going to choose a different cup? Am I going to choose one of the good goodness cups? Or am I going to choose one of the, greed, the greedy cups? So he's got to make a decision. Uh, what am I going to choose? Will they allow me to? Will they even allow me? And we've got here. Yeah, it's going to be up to King Charles to decide if he wants to do the juggle and the struggle with them. Can we maintain a positive balance between good and bad here? And can we do the juggle struggle? Should we even choose this cup? Uh, is it too much of a fantasy to allow him back in with the juggle and the struggle? Can we develop? Um, can we get equilibrium? Can we balance the negative and the positives uh, with Harry? And he's got a good side and he's got a bad side. He's got empath an empathy switch. He can be very jovial. He can be very charming and good to be with. And then he turns very ruthless, dark, vindictive, violent. That's his mental illness. So it would be a juggle struggle coping with him, but it seems and feels like a very emotional decision. It's a very emotional decision. That is the castle in the sky. He wants to come back in and it is sort of fantasy. And then we would have to put plans together. We would have to do a two of wands and weigh the options, weigh the options and formulate an idea, formulate an idea of escapism, burner phones, pulling a Katie Holmes, maybe. Uh, and then we have here four of swords. Because he is reaching an absolute rock bottom with the Four of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse is someone who's basically having a complete mental collapse. Uh, he's not doing well. It feels like death to him. No stability. No grounding. He is in total quicksand and with words. Lies, lies, and more lies. There's no healing with the Four of Swords. No healing with the Four of Swords if he stays out with this luxury loving wife. The nine of pentacles. She just wants to reach, you know, receive money. She wants to receive money. So they got to make a plan. How are we going to satisfy Megan? 
because we know she wants her independence. She's gunning for independence, but she wants money. She wants luxury, lots and lots of luxury and retirement. We've got to make sure she doesn't have to work. Uh, she needs to be financially stable and independent. And this thing is dead and over with. This thing's really getting dead and over with here. Total lost faith. She's lost faith in me, dad, that I can't give her the luxury and stability that she feels she deserves. So it's coming to an end. This is like a coffin card here. And this also is total, total mental collapse. Uh, Megan's coming to a mental collapse as well. Uh, so they're really, really miserable. It is definitely coming to the end of the marriage. So I think he's going to discuss a divorce and how they're going to handle Megan. How are they going to handle that situation that happened around Jubilee time? Uh, needing that to be covered up. Will you do it? Will you do it? And then we have here Queen of Swords in reverse with the Six of Swords. And we know that Megan's going to be very cruel and ruthless, and she's going to do the smear campaign with the Queen of Swords in reverse. She's going to be very cold and calculated and cutting, and he's probably going to say, she's going to cut me out anyways. I feel it coming. I think he's feeling that she is ready to run. She's ready. She's ready. She's done. She wants that independence, and she's ready to leave with regret. You know, she's going to just say, all right, I'm ready to cut out. Uh, I don't care about you anymore. This is done and over with. It was all lies anyways. And uh, I'm ready to flee. I'm ready to flee with the Six of Swords and get out of stormy waters. This is just too stormy. It's time to go. And I'm moving away in a rut. And it's basically the calm after the storm. And she really wants that independence. She does. And then basically Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And he would not chase after her. He would not go after her. He would hit a wall and stay put. So he doesn't want to chase after Megan. He doesn't. He knows you can go. It's, you can go now. That's okay. I'm not chasing after you. Nobody's coming for you, Megan. You can do whatever you want. We're not coming for you. No one's rescuing you. It's just basically releasing themselves from each other, getting out of that prisoner in their mind, but still wounded from the devil energy, temperance in reverse, from the out of control, unhealthy, toxic person relationship and the illness that is, it's making him more sick than what he's ever been in his life because before they were able to control it he realizes he's gotten sicker than he's ever been he's at his sickest point and the only way out is to remove himself she realizes he's sick he realizes he's sick he needs rescuing he needs to be released from this mental prison of the devil toxic energy of havoc shame uh hedonism oppressive situation and too much shame. There's a lot of shame here and frustration, negative senses. And it's also basically trying to get the calm after the storm, in essence, by releasing yourself because of her total disharmony here, complete total disharmony with her. She's just going to be like, I don't care. We're not, we don't really get along anyways. We never truly have. And the negotiation in reverse. There's really no negotiation on the table for Markle. They're not going to chase after her. So I see this. Um, him trying to get back and negotiate a lifestyle for himself and to get rid of her. And let's, let's move on here at the bottom of the deck, the devil. Yeah. The devil's there and it's the devil, the devil energy. It's just, there's that entanglement. There's that low vibe conscious bonding there. And they were after materialism. It's just drug, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, sex, drugs, rock and roll. And for a while, it felt good. That was part, that's their life. That's the center of the situation was the 10 of cups. He enjoyed the sex, drugs, rock and roll card of the devil for a while there. He did, but he knew there was no love there. There was no beginning, no peace, absolutely no peace, no peace. And then it created nothing but a 10 of wands, which is basically feeling alone, being by himself, total baggage. It's a very painful dreadful betrayal ending he betrayed them uh very burdened overloaded total drudgery there's no love here no love uh, you know please forgive me please forgive me wanting forgiveness i think this whole apology situation was his projection of needing to apology apologize to them um and that was his projection of what he knew he needed to do so it's looking like he's going to try to have a very um, 
close closing situation for himself so that he can um, basically get back in. I don't think he wants to continue. And that is how I see it. And hopefully, you know, they do. I think it'd be inhumane because he is sick. But uh, and I don't think he's ever going to be seen publicly. This is done for him. And um, so I hope you enjoy this. All right, you guys. Sorry this is so late uploaded. But anyways, here it is. All right, you guys. Thank you. Bye.